Welcome to Let's Talk Dementia. I'm glad you've chosen to join me again today for another video to hear what's on my mind about dementia. I'm hoping that something I say today will help you in your caregiving journey because if you're like me, boy, you need all the help you can get. Let me know what's on your mind. You can leave me a message down below. Just type it in and it'll pop up on my screen and I can assure you I will write you back and hopefully be able to answer your question or respond in some way that's beneficial to you. Check out our Amazon best-selling book also called Let's Talk Dementia and our podcast called Let's Talk Dementia available on iTunes. You can go to our website, letstalkdementia.org and find more good information. And just so you'll know, this channel is growing. We're getting more and more subscribers, and I thank you for that. If you have not subscribed, it's free. Just press that little subscribe button. That makes YouTube happier with us, and the happier they are with us, the more they tell other people about us, and we can offer more free dementia education. So that's what's on uh, my mind as far as publicity. And I hate that part of the world. I just want to talk to you about dementia. Um, so today I wanted to read you an email that I received from a listener of the podcast. And she also has watched all of my videos. And I thank her for that. Her name is Vicki. And Vicki, thank you for commenting on the um, videos and, and leaving your question on my email. So here's her question. She says, Carol, I have been watching your videos and they have been such a blessing to me. My mom was recently diagnosed with back vascular dementia. She is 77, living out in the country in Oklahoma. I live in Colorado and am bringing her out for a visit. We don't even know how to start the conversation with her on selling her place and moving into an assisted living facility. I'm trying to get her to sign a durable power of attorney before it's too late. Can you give me any advice? Do you charge to advise? And any help would be appreciated. Well, Vicki, thank you for writing. Your mom has vascular dementia, and that is the second leading cause of dementia, depending on the list that you, you look at, but it definitely ranks in the top two or three. Vascular or dementia can be brought on by a stroke or something that's causing the blood not to go to the brain properly and most usually that is a stroke and so um, that is what mom's dealing with and at 77 she is on this journey and what to do how to bring up that conversation that can be a tough one um, so I did write Vicki back and I wanted to share with you some things that um, she needs to think about in advance and some things to talk with mom about. Um, and I recommend it start with a cup of coffee at her favorite place, you know, and I'm not a proponent of donuts. I did write a book called If My Body is a Temple, Why Am I Eating Donuts? It is a bestseller. You should check it out. It's a 90-day devotional on my story of losing 100 pounds. That's got nothing to do with Vicky, but just, <laughs> hey, it's a plug. Throw it in there. But if mom likes donuts, this might be one of those exceptions to go sit down with coffee and donuts where mom's relaxed and and after a little bit go mom I just got a couple of questions I things that's been on my mind um, about how life should be like for you how you see life will be when you you know retire and as you age what do you want because we've never talked about it because it is not about what Vicki wants for mom it's about what mom wants for mom how does mom see her future playing out and if you're like me you've thought about this what do you want for the future what do you want life to look like when you're 70, when you're 80, when you're 90? But have you told your children this? And most of the time we have not done that. So just as a matter of courtesy, we're bringing this up to see what mom says. Vicki needs to ask such questions like, Mom, what state, what town and what state do you want to retire in? Do you want to live near me or my brother? Um, or do you want to live near someone else that I'm not even aware of this is your desire? Do you want to go back to your hometown where you grew up? What do you want? You've never told me. What do you want? I just, I want to make sure that I do everything I can to make this happen. The other thing that is important to know is if mom has a long-term care policy. Now people, I have this conversation with folks a couple times a week and I'll say, does your parent or your, your loved one have a long-term care policy? And they go, I don't know. I don't know. No, they don't have one. And I'll go, you need to check. People, long-term care insurance premiums most often are paid to an insurance company that has life insurance in its name. My mom's is through John Alden Life Insurance. It might be Jim 
Gen Worth life insurance. And so the average Joe might look in the checkbook and think mom or dad have been paying for a life insurance policy when in fact they might have been paying for a long-term care policy. You need to know that because you, if you find out after death, then we've wasted that money. We need to know that. So confirm and make extra sure. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me again. Frog in the throat. Make extra sure that you know whether they, they have a long-term care policy or not. If they have one, go ahead, sit down with mom, get the folks on the phone, and get the information regarding that policy. And if it's okay with mom, make yourself a, a signed person on that account that can call and get that information at any point without mom in the room. And that will require mom signing off on that. That's a good thing to have. And then find out if mom, it, you probably know if mom's a veteran or if her husband, uh, your dad was a veteran. Now, if mom remarried um, later in life, <clears throat> then you need to find out if the last, hold on, my phone is doing something funny here. Uh, there you go. You need to find out if the, the husband that she was last married to is a veteran. So she had to have been married or he had to have been married to the veteran at the point of death. If so, then it's very likely that they would qualify for VA benefits, and those VA benefits could be used to help pay for assisted living or in-home care. That's the kind of thing you need to know. Once you get that information, you can write me, and I can help you get you started on that process of finding out truly can they get those benefits. Important thing. Ask mom if she would be interested in moving to a retirement community near you or a retirement community in the town where she thinks she would like to retire. Don't call it an assisted living. That sounds crazy and scary. Don't do that. And do not use the words nursing home. That's words we don't use anymore in the industry at all. They're called skilled care facility, not nursing home. Does that sound like a place you want to go to? No, it does not. So call it a retirement community. Now, to me, that brings visions of um, shuffleboard <laughs> and um, swimming pools and happy things. So that's what we want to call it. No matter the level of care that mom might need, we're going to call it retirement community. Get her feel for that. Um, explain to her that that retirement community would include a, a wonderful apartment and it would include um, utilities and laundry and cleaning of her apartment and snacks and meals and uh, just wonderful things. She would just lead the life of luxury. And by golly, you've worked a hard, long time. You deserve it. Present it that way. And then call me when they say, yes, I'm interested. Don't call the communities. Whatever you do, do not do that. Call me and I will help you in that journey. And I don't charge you anything. Don't sign up online with anybody. I'm not going to call the names of those companies out there that will help you find assisted living, but all they're going to do is refer you, and they're not going to be there to answer questions for you. I'm going to be there to answer those questions. So you write me, carol at letstalkdementia.org, and tell me your need, and I'm going to do my best to help you. The other thing that is very important is um, regarding a power of attorney. She mentioned that she is working on that, and what you need is a general, durable, power of attorney. General meaning it covers everything. Anything that mom might need to sign off on, she is now giving permission for you or someone to do that signing off for her. General meaning everything. Durable meaning it is good from the date she signs it till the minute she dies. At the point of death, a power of attorney is no longer in effect. It cannot be used in any way. So general covering everything. Durable till the point of death. General, durable, power of attorney. Now, the IRS does not recognize a power of attorney and neither does the Veterans Administration. You will have to sign other documents that they will send to you in order to communicate with them on the behalf of your loved one. Ain't life grand, but that's the way it is. Then you also need to consider a health care power of attorney. Now, we all need these documents. This is not just something mom needs because she's 78 years old. You need this at 20. You just do have these in place. But a health care power of attorney, you are assigning to someone the right to make decisions about your health should you become unable to do that. Do you want to be put on life support? Do you want a breathing tube? Do you want to be fed um, through a tube when you can no longer feed yourself? These kinds of decisions that you can make now while your brain's working so that later in life someone else doesn't have to wonder what would mama want 
you've already made them. It's written down. It's a living will. It's written down. And then they can make other decisions for you along the way. Those are important documents. Make sure you've got a will, folks. If you don't have one, please get one. If mom doesn't have one and mom is still cognitively able to do all this, go and get it done. If she's not cognitively able to do this, you will have to sit down in a separate setting with an attorney who will work through making it all legal. I can't begin to explain that one to you, but and it's different by state. Check with your uh, lawyer in your state. But, you know, when you don't have a will and your loved one dies and everything goes through probate, it is a royal pain in the patootie and you don't need that. You will have enough to deal with. That's something you can fix in advance. So let's think about that. Um, the other thing to think about is life insurance. Where does mama keep her policy? Do you know? Is there a place where all this information is safely put? I'm a follower of Dave Ramsey's Financial Peace University and highly just believe in his methods and his teaching and it's made a huge change in our, our financial life now and our financial life in the future. But he talks about gathering all of that paperwork together and it's in one place. And you put it in one place because you love the people who will be making those decisions and need that paperwork. You love them so much you make it easy for them to find it. And in it is the insurance policy. In it are the will and the health care power of attorney and the general durable power of attorney, um, statements for all of your accounts, the uh, key to your safe deposit box. I don't know. All kinds of wonderful things like that in that one place. So I hope that gave um, Vicki some things to think about as she continues this journey with mom. And I'm glad her mom's going to come visit her from another state. That's super exciting. My mom could no longer do that. So I'm glad, Vicki, you can still do that. You guys let me know what's on your mind. You can email me, carol at letstalkdementia.org, or just leave me a question below. Leave me a comment. Share us with other people. So here's your funny. It's short. What did the Zen Buddhist say to the hot dog vendor? He said, make me one with everything. <laughs> That's kind of cute, isn't it? Well, I hope you've learned something today. I hope your caregiving journey is a beautiful one. I'm going to call back whoever it was that just called me and see what's going on there. Blessings and smiles. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel. When you subscribe, you'll be able to stay up to date on our latest videos. And all of the videos are free. Check out my book, Let's Talk Dementia. It is available on Amazon. The link is in the description below. Blessings and smiles.